Um, uh, Hervé, I have a question uh, regarding, in general, what, what I see, what you, what you mentioned, is that there seems to be a reinforcing positive loop of getting customers, hence investors, and hence further customers. So my question to you is, where do you get your first customers? Say that again. You, where did you get your, f your first customers? Oh, where did we get our first customers? Yeah. Uh, our first customers were actually uh, some startups. So though we were, the you know, plan was to sell to really large global 2000 corporations, our first customers were startups that were friends, basically friends of us or friends of our investors. And uh, they were not willing to pay a lot for the product, but they were willing to provide the validation that this, you know, the product is beneficial and useful for them. So the first, first customers were uh, sort of friendly startups. Then what we started doing was we started reaching out to not the largest companies that would buy the product, but sort of, m you know, uh, more commercial, uh, middle-sized companies. And I remember uh, <laughs> these are fun days in early company. One, one of our customers um, was out of Nevada, and the way we found the customer was just a cold call. We just cold called them, small company. Uh, so far, we have had only customers that are, you know, friendly startups. And so I actually fly out to Nevada to meet the customer. I'm so excited about it. And then they, they want to get the product. And they say, okay, uh, what's the price? I've never thought about pricing up till that point of time. That's, so I'm looking at my co-founder. I make up a number, $50,000 $50, so for one year. He says, 50000 that's too high. I'll give you 5000 <laughs> So I say, sure, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's how customers were early on, uh, but all those you know start you know in the beginning uh, you're just there to prove that what you're doing is valuable to the market. Mm -hmm. That's how it started out. Then uh, really, uh, I think at some point of time, this is also very funny. Uh, so one in one very large VC firm will go unnamed. <laughs> um, they have these. Uh, uh, meetings where they invite CIOs of very large companies and the CIOs have, uh, you know, they sit there for the entire day and each of the portfolio companies comes and pitches their product to the CIO. I can guess the name. Huh? I can guess you can guess the name, right? You can guess, well, now many VC <laughs> firms are doing that. So, uh, At that point in time. And so that, that VC firm didn't realize that they were invite, they didn't invest in us, but they were inviting us to all those meetings. So we kept, and in fact, they had made, inv uh, <laughs> <laughs> they had made they had made investments in our they had made investments in our competition. <laughs> so now the competing company would come pitch to the uh, you know the CIO, and then after that we would come pitch, and they had no idea that we were there pitching to you know. <laughs> and so one of our first big deals came out like that. The CIO really liked the product, and then we had a sales team. We followed up with them, and uh, it was like our uh, first big million dollar, very large customer. Uh, so, yeah, some some luck and some uh, diligence. <laughs> did you yeah. s send a thank you card to that VC? <laughs> no, they. I I did. I, I did, and then you know finally they realized that what was happening, and they. I never. I never said, hey, why are you inviting us? You know, I took the opportunity, and then they kicked us out eventually. <laughs>